So I want to say hi and welcome to everyone. Thanks for um, tuning in to this um, presentation on um, the Open SUNY Interested in Online in Teaching Online um, self-paced course. Uh, I just want to make sure that everyone in the community and beyond is aware of this new resource that we've developed and um, to give you a little tour and, and an introduction uh, to it and, and to have folks uh, have the opportunity to, um, to see it and um, maybe ask some questions and um, and I just want to demonstrate some of the um, aspects of it some of the features of it so that you can be aware of um, you know what the tool is where it is maybe um, a little bit about how to use it and so forth the first thing I want to mention um, is that this um, uh, resource is uh, comes out of work that we did um, a few years ago now with um, a core team um, charged with um, uh, identifying the core fundamental competencies in online teaching um, that um, became part of uh, Open SUNY. And so I just want to recognize and acknowledge the folks that were on that team from, um, it started in November of 2013, and those were um, the folks that you see listed there on the, um, on the screen in the core team. And then we had an expert team that also um, would pop in from, you know, time to time to review some of our work. And then um, we have, um, um, the open SUNY staff that were involved in um, in developing it and I want to give a shout out to um, folks um, Amelia Manders from the open SUNY office and um, Felice Banner uh, with whom I uh, worked on this course as well um, so from those um, fundamental competencies um, we um, identified um, a challenge um, uh, talking with the community of online instructional designers here in SUNY that uh, they reported that, you know, they were getting um, a wide range of of types of skills uh, in folks coming into their trainings um, uh, to be trained to teach uh, online and that they really needed to have a baseline of understanding about online teaching and learning as well as some basic uh, skills and so so that's kind of the genesis of, of this um, resource uh, and so from that work and from um, that understanding um, we built this um, online faculty readiness um, inventory. I, I kind of refer to it as a readiness inventory. And this um, is the first step in the online, um, interested in teaching online um, set of resources. So and um, anyone really um, who is interested in learning more about teaching online um, would, uh, would begin their journey here. And you know, the intended audience for this group is not just people who will teach online. It really is anyone who's interested in learning more about what it means to uh, to teach online. And and uh, and then obviously, if um, if they are um, thinking about uh, teaching online, this is a good first step in terms of checking those technical skills. And so this inventory really presents um, several. Um, resources uh, and uh, checklists that uh, someone can go through um, to um, uh, get informed and, and check their skills. And so there would be things like, um, you know, some basic um, computer skills that you could go through and check. And this actually allows you to check it. And, and then, um, you know, if you don't have some of these skills, it, it advises you to um, go visit your um, uh, center for, um, you know, teaching on your campus to, uh, to beef up on some of those, uh, those technical skills you might need. Um, and then in addition to, to like the technical skills of computer 
um, basic computer skills, word processing, internet skills, um, email skills, those kinds of things. There are a variety of um, uh, videos uh, that help um, to um, sort of create a foundation of understanding of what it means to teach and learn online, both from the faculty perspective as well as from the student perspective. And so it gives some very nice brief um, information from practitioners, people who are working in the field, many of whom um, on these videos are actual SUNY um, uh, you know, part of the SUNY community, some of which are not, um, but really gives a, a, a nice overview of um, some of the current um, understanding and thinking about teaching and learning well online. We also have some activities, so you can uh, um, observe an online course, for example, and um, learn about, you know, people may come uh, to this with some preconceptions and assumptions about teaching online, and so we've produced a little video that addresses some of the common myths. And then we also took the opportunity to showcase some of our online teaching ambassadors, people within SUNY who are very enthusiastic about online teaching and uh, who are online instructors, teach, they teach online. And uh, so we videotaped them and asked them why they were um, enthusiastic about it. And, and uh, so we present some of those uh, videos here as well. Um, some of you may recognize Eric Finkel from, uh, from this video, a former uh, Open SUNY um, employee as well as an online student, and um, and so in this in this set of videos we hear from the online student perspective, which I think is um, really informative for people who are trying to understand, uh, get a baseline understanding of what it means to um, learn online. Um, so this is the the preliminary step in the course, and um, I think that Aaron has popped the. Um, Actually, I don't know if you did the readiness one, but uh, if not, I will do it. Um, and um, so you can browse that at your at your convenience. Um, so once completed, once um, uh, someone has completed. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you here is in this welcome. There's actually a little checklist that can um, help you keep track of the things that are uh, the resources that are available on in this readiness site and track your your completion of those things so that you know um, you know what you've done and and what you still have yet to do um, and so once and this will you know, we'll hold, we'll track um, along with you and, and keep it um, so that the next time you return uh, to the website, you'll be able to continue to see what you have, um, what you've completed. Um, so once you've completed everything, you can go on to, um, to the, um, the interested in teaching online set of resources. And um, this was designed, um, uh, again, for anyone, regardless of whether they'll ever teach online, um, it could be, you know, someone who supports um, online faculty, it could be a librarian, it could be um, a department chair who supervises online faculty, it could be um, uh, you know, faculty developer, any number of people who who have an interest in um, learning more about online education and online uh, teaching and, and learning. Um, so uh, there's the goals of, of uh, these resources. And one of the unique features that we've built into this resource is that you can use it um, in, in a couple of ways. Um, uh, or, or, you know, um, uh, engage with it in, in these two different ways. In Mapped Out Journey, um, we provide um, a sort of a recommended path through the resources um, and a way to check off, um, again, similar to what I've showed before, a way to check off uh, what you have completed so far. And then, um, 
you know, it kind of goes through um, uh, step by step. It's organized um, uh, by module. So there's three modules and within each module, there are a set of um, activities to um, a set of resources to review and um, uh, some activities to engage in and um, and then each of the three modules um, and these modules are the landscape competencies and effective practices each of these modules has a um, a quiz uh, at the end of it to check your understanding and so um, here, I'll go through it from the pull down menu. This is the landscape. And so these are the topics um, under the landscape. And so, for example, there's a, um, a place where you can um, uh, peruse a, a variety of um, terms that are commonly associated um, and used uh, in um, talking about online teaching and learning. Um, it also has um some um a number of um um this is uh, some different definitions about uh, the different flavors of, of online teaching. And then we definitely have some additional videos um, from folks within our community um, that are also um, provided. Uh, and many of you may recognize folks from these videos and recall um, uh, that over the last couple of years, we've been capturing interviews um, with folks at uh, some of our events in order to um, put together uh, these videos on these specific topics uh, for this purpose. So the, the different modules um, uh, continue with competencies um, and effective practices. And as I mentioned, they each um, uh, culminate in a, in a uh, little quiz that helps you to um, review the material and check uh, your understanding um, of the material. Um, so uh, the other way that um, you can uh, engage with these resources, uh, you know, as I said, initially there was the mapped out journey. Um, the other way it, we call the meandering way. And really this site is nothing more than a website. And so you can come to this site and um, click around just like it is a website and, um, you know, review the material based on, you know, things that might interest you. Um, you can, um, uh, there's no particular order that you would need to follow. Um, you might, may already be familiar with the terminology, for example, um, and, um, and not need to, um, to review that. So you can just browse around um sort of as as it interests you and and in fact you could even just go straight to the checklists to the um sorry the the quizzes for each module and check yourself um if you already have some experience or understanding with online learning you can just check your understanding uh based on the the objectives for this particular set of resources and see where you fall and and then the quiz might identify some area you might might want to um, review in that particular module. We also provide um, the opportunity for some optional conversations in, um, in this uh, set of resources. So as you're going through it, um, as an instructor, or as whoever you may be, a potential instructor or just uh, someone who's interested, you might want to um, have a conversation with somebody who is also interested um, and or with someone who has more experience. And so we've provided the option and the opportunity to um, have um, an online uh, asynchronous conversation. And um, so this links out to um, a, a group in our, our community that is uh, focused on those who are interested in learning more um, about online uh, teaching and online education in general. And so we provide that as an option. Um, 
so uh, we then, um, once you have, um, you know, successfully and thoroughly gone through to the extent that you're interested, um, all of the resources and materials, both in the readiness inventory, as well as in the teaching online sets of resources, you can um, collect your badge. And um, in order to collect the badge, um, you just need to fill out the form and it's going to ask you um, if you have um, done a couple of activities. So this is your evidence that you have um, successfully completed the, um, uh, the objectives and, and the activities that are um, uh, required for the badge. Um, and then also, um, um, uh, you know, it asks you to share a, a reflection about uh, anything you may have learned or found interesting in the course. And, um, and so we're using, um, oops, what did I do? We're using Credly. Um, and um, here we go. And, uh, and so then once you fill out that form uh, to collect your badge, you would uh, receive a claim code to come and um, collect your um, your badge on the fundamentals in online education. So uh, let me think, did, did I get everything? Alex, your screen share stopped. Oh, sorry. That's okay, we just have your video, so you might wanna start that again. So screen share, start again. Sorry about that, I'm not sure how I did that. Okay, there, it is. there we go. And so I'm going to um, try and find the chats again. Okay, cool. So Aaron, um, as I've been talking, have there been any questions that we want to uh, respond to? I see one, is the course free? Yep. Yeah, yeah, these are resources, it's just a website. So any of the links that have been posted in the chat um, are, um, uh, you know, you can, you can get there through those links and, it is um, Creative Commons licensed, so it's intended to be a free and open resource. You can use it as is. You can, um, you know, copy and adopt and adapt any of the pieces of it. Um, it's openly licensed, um, and so, you know, we'd love to have it, um, you know, broadly used uh, and hope that folks find it um, helpful and, um, and useful in helping to make sure that folks that, you know, are, are coming into contact um, with online learning have a baseline of understanding and have a baseline of technical skills. Um, there's no registration uh, necessary. I see that um, uh, um, question it's self-paced so you can go to this resource right now and begin to um, review the materials um, uh, yeah the, the way that you save your progress is with those checklists um, uh, I don't know if you noticed but when I opened one of the checklists I had done everything in module two so it remembered from um, the last time that I did this which was two or three weeks ago uh, that I had um, indicated that I had completed all the activities in module two so it, it keeps track for you is there anything else um, um, Aaron, in there uh, that I, I'm going to try and go through, but I, I'm not. Uh, just the Creative Commons license, which I did post in there. Okay. That was the only other question I saw. I'm trying to go through the list. Is there anything else? And another question about whether we need a login. Nope, there's no registration, no login, just a website. So you can click around anywhere that you would like. I have a question. If if there's no login, how does it keep track of what you do on the checklist? Hmm. I, th I have no idea how it does that. Um, I'd have to ask Amelia. Um, I just know that it it does. I mean, it won't, if you go to another computer, 
um, and try and do it. It's not gonna, because there is no login or, you know, it's not, a, you're, you haven't authenticated into it. Um, it's not gonna track from computer to computer, but on the same computer, it will, it will uh, remember. Um, okay, okay. That, make, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, and it's really not intended to be, you know, something that is, um, uh, like we're not certifying anything or anyone or or tracking this in any um, uh, you know formal way the the intention is to provide these resources um, to the community to the SUNY community and beyond um, to use uh, in a self-paced um, kind of way obviously if you're at a campus and you want to make use of this resource in a more formal way um, you know you could put some measures in place that could um, help you to track things um, for for the the, the people that you're you're working with but um you know from our perspective we're providing it as an open um self-paced resource and and i'm um, hoping that the community uh sees the value in it um that uh that we've gotten you know from them that they need so so hopefully uh, is there a mobile website i believe that this is uh, mobile friendly uh, that the theme that we're using, it's really just WordPress, um, uh, is mobile friendly. Um, but if you find that it's not, I'd love to, you know, hear from you and see if there's something that we could do to make it easier. Um, so I saw somewhere that someone was talking about here being having some um, needing some captions. Um, we've uh, um, made sure that all of the video assets that are incorporated into this site are captioned. Um, this webinar itself, it, um, right now we don't have someone, you know, live captioning it, um, uh, but we definitely are recording it and um, I can see and, and uh, work with the folks here to see if it can, um, if it can get captioned, if the recording can get captioned so that we can be, so that we can share it. Where will this recording live? Um, Aaron, do you know where it will live? Yeah, well, it'll be on our um, YouTube channel. I'll oh. put that in the in the chat. Okay. Uh, can I forward the badge to my supervisor? Someone's asking. Um, so when you claim your badge, um, you, you will you you'll have to set up an account in Credly. And, um, and when you claim your badge, um, I'll show mine, for example. So if I click on, uh, I'm on, um, so these are all the badges that I have earned, and this is my fundamentals badge. And so when I click on this, this is my badge that I earned from uh, doing this, um, you know, these activities. And so this is a unique link um, to this page. And so the description of the badge, the issuer of the badge, the badge itself, as well as the evidence that I provided, um, it is all and the date you know that I that it was issued it is all captured here and so what you would do is provide this link to your supervisor does that make is that clear did I explain that sufficiently <laughs> yeah I think Wendy I, I think that um, Credly is um, uh you know plays nicely with the mozilla backpack but credly itself is like a backpack as you saw all of the badges that i have earned see this is me all of the badges i have earned are here also up here this is the unique url to this page you could go there if you wanted to see the badges that i have um that i've earned and so this is essentially a backpack of the badges that i have earned so anyone could go here and see this Okay, anything else? Did I miss anything else in here? Okay. Um, so, you know, 
I want to thank you for for coming um, and uh, and getting the, the overview of this resource. We're super um, excited to um, present and promote this. Um, you know, to the extent that you um, uh, you know uh, um, are interested, you're welcome to share this with anyone. Um, uh, we hope that it will get broadly used, and um, and also I'm really hoping um, that you know if you do end up um, uh, uh, incorporating it into um, if if you're an instructional designer or at a campus at the at a department or institutional level if you're if you're if you incorporate this in any way that you let us know how you're using it just so that we can. Um, uh, you know, understand uh, how folks are using it. And of course, if you have any recommendations or suggestions, or if you find any typos <laughs> or anything in there, uh, any links that might be broken, I mean, we've done our best to review it and to make sure that everything is there. Uh, but if you find anything and, and or have any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. Um, and um, you know, hear how you're using it and how it's working for you, and if there's anything else that we could um, uh, incorporate into it to make it better. I really appreciate everyone um, for for coming, and um, yeah, uh, don't hesitate to let us know. Um, you know, or or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. I'll stay online for a little bit um, in case uh, anyone else um, thinks of a, of a question. Um, but with that, I think it's a wrap. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, Alex. How are you doing? Good. Who's talking? John. Hi. Hey, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Somebody came into my office a couple minutes ago, so I, you may have already addressed it. Um, yep. But uh, I'm uh, interested in the, um, <clears throat> the uh, credentials part of it, the credentialing part of it. Um, you, you said that, uh, that you don't actually track. I mean, it sounds like there's a cookie in the background if you're on that particular computer that's going to remember where you've been and all. Um, is, is the credentialing part of it when you go to get a badge, is that, uh, you know, is that just the honor system? You check off what you what you think that what you claim to accomplish yeah and then yeah it's the honor system and they have to produ produce evidence right um so you know you'd be able to look at that evidence and the evidence um oops sorry nerds i don't know what i just did uh here is this here no here no see if I can find it. It's here. Um, you know, the things that we're asking them to do in order to earn the badge, obviously, are to, is to go through the materials and to take the, the, the quizzes. Um, but we then make want to make sure that they have um, signed up as an Open SUNY fellow, that they've joined the networking community, that have joined the conversation group, mm -hmm. and then that they've produced um, a reflection. So that's the evidence that we collect. Um, and, um, you know, it's not intended to, as I said, to you know, um, lord over anyone or certify anyone. We're really providing it as a resource. But I think that at, you know, at a campus, if you wanted to do, to do something a little more formal, um, you could, um, I mean, there's ways that, that you could do it. Um, uh, and it might mean that they need to submit um, the, the evidence to you in addition to Credly, right? right. Um, and, um, and maybe you could do your own badge instead of taking it, um, um, you know, uh, on, on the honor system, you could, um, and taking the, the evidence manually, you could set up your own badge and have them uh, uh, submit their evidence into your badge 
and then you could review the evidence um, more, you know, in a more formal way. I mean, we just, it's the honor system with this, right? Sure. So, um, but, you know, there's ways that you could adapt it so that you could actually review, you know, even require different evidence or additional evidence and, and then have them submit that using this as the resource, as the content and the materials, but then have, um, you know, your own uh, step that you you put in there to collect and review the evidence uh, that you would like um, from it, right? Yeah, great. Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, cool. Thank you, everybody. I'm just scanning the chat to see if there's anyone else that had a question or anything else that... <laughs> Looks like there were a lot of people. Aaron, are you you're still there? Did, did you did you I'm count how, how many people we had? Uh, Forty two. Awesome! And it looks like there were people from all over. Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, cool! Thank you, everyone who's still there. <laughs> I don't know how to how do I do this so I can see. Yeah, there's still folks on. So if anyone, I'll stay on for a little bit more. If anyone has questions, um, I'm happy to, uh, to respond. I'll put it back on the page. So, Aaron, how do I stop the um, recording? Uh, the same way you started it. You should be able to go back up to the same place, and it should give you the option to stop. Okay. I'm going to stop it now. Sure. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm.